item last night and I stopped at the boutique and picked up some more things to mail out. Not mail out, post on Mercari. So check that out if you haven't. I am now selling on Mercari again as well as in the boutique. Um, so yeah, I am fixing to get gas. I'm gonna run into the Dollar Tree as well to grab a few snacky things because we've got to pack up tonight to go to my grandma's tomorrow. So I want to get some snacks for the kids. And then if the Dollar Tree has a loaf of bread, I might pick up some there because I want to make some freezer uncrustables. So we'll see if I get to do that today, but that is the plan. That's I want to go ahead and get those done just because we've been flying through lunch bowls with everything going on this summer. I want to go ahead and make some and have those as an option in the freezer as well. Those snacks. Here. Here. All right, y'all. It is almost three o'clock. Just made it home. I just laid Mason down for a nap. I picked up some stuff at the Dollar Tree. They didn't have any bread, so I stopped at Dollar General. So let me show you what I picked up, and we're gonna start on these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to go in the freezer. All right, I'm gonna show you Dollar General first because it's the least amount of stuff. I got a loaf of white bread. I still have about a half a loaf, which is what we're gonna start with. The kids each got a little ham and cheddar lunchable on the way home. The dollar aisle, I got a 40 pack of the sandwich zip bags and a lunchable top. <laughs> Some chewy chocolate chip cookies and that is it for Dollar General. All right, and then Dollar Tree. I picked up two of the turkey and American lunchables. I just love having these on hand and two of the ham and American. Then I picked up a thing of mustard because we have no mustard and Cooper has been requesting mustard and some mayo. I don't eat mayo, but Cooper does. So I picked that up. Picked up two things of shelf stable unsweetened almond milk. And then the last bag, I got a new cutting board. So I'll rinse that off and use that to make our sandwiches some blue paint because I want to do a 4th of July craft. I just need to find some red paint. They didn't have any. Picked up this. I saw this on like a YouTube reel or TikTok reel last night. I can't remember. Maybe Facebook. And it was only one left and I wanted to try it. So it's the Home Bright Coffee and Espresso Machine Descaling and Cleaning Solution. It says use every one to three months. Apparently you'd put the entire bottle in the machine. So we'll see how that works. I got some red nail polish. I want a red glitter polish, but this will work for right now. And then they had a ton of books, but I just let myself get one. And I picked up this one. It's called Wife After Wife by Olivia Hayfield. So that's it. Let me get this stuff put up and then we're gonna get into making sandwiches. So here I am, I'm starting on the sandwiches. I'm just using some great value turkey lunch meat. I'm doing two pieces of that and a slice of cheese on each of those. And then I'm just taking the top of my little jar for my candy jar that I use on the table to make the circles, make them look like Uncrustables. And I'm just, before I remove it, I peel all the crust off. And if you notice, it looks like I'm throwing the crust on the floor. I'm not, I'm throwing it into like an empty bowl that I use for Remy for scraps. And then I'm doing peanut butter and jelly. I did a few turkey without cheese as well because I don't eat cheese. Um, and I like to mix my peanut butter and jelly up before I put it on the sandwiches. And I believe I did four to eight of these as well. So we've definitely got about 15 sandwiches in our freezer. At the moment, I also labeled each one of them. All right, so y'all saw I got the peanut butter and jellies done. I did half peanut butter and jelly, half turkey and cheese, and I did some without cheese because I don't eat cheese on mine. They're in the freezer. I took chicken out last to do last night to do fried chicken and didn't get to them. So we're gonna do that because this is our night. Last night at home before we go to my grandmother's tomorrow. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Gotta go to my grandmother's and be there till Saturday. So I need to get all that done. 
I got the dishes done. There's a, a spoon in there because the kids are snacking like crazy. Got the counters finally cleaned off. Gonna put a load of clothes to wash. Hopefully get caught up on the clothes. I just want to come home to a clean house Saturday evening. So trying to do as much as I can. Um, they're fighting over barbecue chips. Even though we have a big, large family bag. Um, I just listed some stuff on Mercari. Already sold two more items, y'all. I am doing so good. So proud of myself. It's really helping me. So, if you ever see things that you like that I haul, go on there and look for them. Because they're probably either on there or in the store. But if there's anything I ever post on video that you want to buy from me that I share that's for resale just send me a comment or a message somehow and i can post it online for you so just so you know that um i do have my mercari link down below in the description box i finally got to adding those onto videos so let's go ahead and work on this fried chicken So here I am trying to break these leg quarters apart. I was on the struggle bus with this, y'all. Washing my chicken, um, things like that. Do y'all wash your chicken before you cook it? Like I do with certain things, certain types of chicken, but not all. But I am like struggling over here, as you can see, with this. So yeah, but just cutting the chicken apart. Here I have a bowl of my clean chicken, a bowl of milk, and then a bowl of my seasoning, flour, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going from bowl of chicken to milk to the seasoning to the grease on the stove. So I'm frying the chicken now. Y'all are kind of watching me as I'm doing it. I'm filming it and doing a voiceover to it. Um, but I'm doing a chicken cheesy casserole in the oven right now while I'm making that so I can do two more freezer meals. Um, so that cheesy chicken casserole will be one to go in my freezer and one to go in my grandmother's freezer. So that's what I'm doing with that while I'm frying the chicken. It takes like an hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half to cook the chicken cheesy casserole. I was like, I might as well put that together, throw it in the oven, because it all is just like a one-pan dinner, and um, go ahead and put those into freezer meals as well oh, while I'm already what? cooking. So, working on chicken, working on like the first four pieces. I didn't do a whole lot. I think I did seven pieces. Yeah. Four thighs and three legs. So, we probably won't eat all that, but it is what it is. That's what I took out, so that's what we're using. Say hi. Yeah, I am fussy. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Cooper doesn't realize I'm making a video. So the kids are watching Moana for the hundredth time. And eating their fried chicken, I took it off the bone for them and some mashed potatoes. I made some mashed potatoes with it because I don't have any fries, which is fine. Um, the kids love mashed potatoes, so it worked out. Um, and I've got two pieces left right here. It was actually eight pieces, not seven. And I'm finishing up the last four in the pot right now. And the casserole probably still has another 30 to 45 minutes on it. All right, y'all, it is like 11 o'clock. I just touched up my nails. The white was starting to chip. I did get a few questions on my TikTok about what nail polish I was using. And this is like, came in a gift set that I bought at a flea market like a, 
look like maybe five, six year old gift, gift set of like Christmas colors. It's just an Essie nail polish in the color B-L-A-N-C, Blanc maybe. Um, so if you're looking for it, I don't even know if you'd be able to find it anymore, but it is a really pretty white color. So I just touched it up. I feel like at night after seven o'clock is when everything in my life starts to take a toll on me. Like at seven o'clock, I am done for the night at eight o'clock the latest. I, I don't sleep well at night, um, but typically I don't get to sleep till about 12 o'clock typically, if not later. I've always been that way. My nights have always been messed up, but everything in life with my grandmother and then just life, trying to figure out things with Nick. Everything so far is going well with that, but just trying to make sure I'm making the right decisions. I don't have any doubts at this moment, but everything starts to tick once all the, the kids are asleep and so around this type of time of night, I try to do a little bit of self-care, even if it's just touching up my nail polish, watching a YouTube video, watching TikTok, listening to some music, because it helps me get through. But that's kind of always just been my typical evening thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't get everything done tonight that I wanted. I'm gonna go back to the doctor tomorrow at 1.25 need to stop by the boutique restock i've got those freezer meals for my grandmother and then we're going to her house so i haven't even figured out how i'm going to do all that um i've got most of our stuff packed up um like clothes and things it's not the big deal we're not going to be that far from the house if i have to come back home we're only going to be like 25 30 minutes away at the most so it's not that big of a deal but that's what's going on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.